This is Top 10's Net, I'm Simon Whistler. In the video today, we're looking at the 10 physically strongest DC characters. A little while ago, we published a list of 10 characters from the Marvel Universe who could hurl a Subway sandwich to Saturn. And as expected, immediately in the comments, people started having a go at us for ignoring the upper pantheons of characters. And because we love people hating on us, we decided to make a sister list of DC characters that ignores all of the boring characters who have unquantifiable levels of cosmic power and instead focus on 10 characters who can punch things really, really hard. We decided to make this video because it will kind of show how silly comics have to get when you have to make characters that are constantly stronger and stronger than the previous ones to keep things interesting. Audiences 70 years ago were wowed by a guy lifting a VW Beetle, and now superheroes can do some truly ridiculous things. And in this video, we're going to be looking at some of those ridiculous things. So let's get started. The Top 10 Physically Strongest DC Characters Number 10. Arthur Curry, also known as Aquaman we don't think any superhero has a reputation as bad as Aquaman, which doesn't really make sense when you realize that as King of the Sea, Aquaman has unquestionable rule over 75% of the entire world. Because being king is only fun when it comes with perks, as the unquestioned ruler of the blue parts of an atlas, Aquaman also has total dominion over every creature that calls the sea its home, and in at least one comic, a flock of sea eagles. That's Aquaman number 27. According to the DC Wiki, Aquaman possesses superhuman strength on the order of 150 times human maximum, which would make him barely strong enough to lift a couple of cars. However, newer comics have shown Aquaman casually doing things like lifting an entire cruise ship, New 52 Aquaman No. 1, and throwing a submarine from the bottom of the ocean with enough force to fly at several hundred feet into the air, New 52 Aquaman No. 21. We don't know what humans Aquaman is supposedly only worth 150 of, but we sure as hell want to meet them. Incredible feat of strength? We're gonna have to go with the time when Aquaman picks up a boat weighing over 100 tons and swings it at an underwater ice zombie who also happens to be a king without any apparent effort. That's from Aquaman Death of a King, if only because it means Aquaman is at least as strong as Gypsy Danger from Pacific Rim, which isn't bad for a hero mostly known for that one gif of him using dolphins as a jet ski. Number 9. Laughlees, aka Agent Orange. Laughlees is a billion-year-old orange alien who single-handedly wields an almost godly amount of power entirely thanks to a pile of magic rings that he and he alone has access to. Something I'm only telling you because it really puts Superman's origin story into perspective. Laughlees has access to around the same abilities as members of the Green Lantern Corps, only instead of will, his constructs are powered by his insatiable sense of greed, which is represented by the color orange for some reason. As the sole member of the Orange Lantern Corps, Laughlees could theoretically shatter entire planets with a giant glowing fist composed of fighter jets, or swat moons out of orbit with a comically large tennis racket. The secret of Laughlees' immense potential for ass whooping lies in his affinity with the orange light of avarice, the power of which is only limited by Laughlees' own gluttony. And because Laughlees is the only member of the Orange Lantern Corps, sharing doesn't really mesh with the whole embodiment of greed thing, he has sole access to the vast, effectively infinite reserves of energy provided by this light, and as a result, can use the power it grants to be a badass forever. As a unique side effect of being fueled solely by greed, Laughlees' power ring has the rather unique ability to charge to 100,000% of its usual capacity, granting the alien more power than an entire army of Green Lanterns, who are variously described as being strong enough to temporarily restrain Superman through sheer force of will. Then again, when you consider that Green Lanterns often waste their power creating stupid things like giant teddy bears and spacefaring pirate ships, maybe Laughlees isn't that scary. And why don't you want to mess with him? Every time Laughlees kills another being, he is able to steal their identity and add a twisted version of their form to his glowing orange army of unstoppable energy warriors that he commands from a galaxy away from the safety of a planet everybody is too scared to go anywhere near. This means Laughlees, through nothing more than utter concentrated greed, has the combined might of an entire army of warriors who each individually wield possibly one of the most powerful weapons in the known universe. It's probably lucky for everyone in the DC universe that Laughlees is usually too busy trying to beat up Santa to ever use his powers to their full potential. That's from Laughlees Christmas Special No. 1. Number 8. Kobe, aka Star Conqueror. 
In the DC Universe, there is a race of starfish creatures, unimaginatively dubbed Starro, who are basically the DC version of facehuggers from the Alien franchise. Only instead of killing their victim, they force them to do their bidding and presumably poop themselves just for the hell of it. A single Starro is capable of taking control of everyone from a regular human to members of the Justice League. That's from Justice League Europe numbers 26 through 28. The far better named Star Conqueror not only has total control over every Starro in existence, Distance, but actually grows in power with every victim they take control over. This technically means that Star Conqueror has the potential to be one of the physically strongest beings in the DC Universe because every victim the Starro control adds to his immense strength. Considering that Star Conqueror has taken over hundreds of planets and controls millions of beings from across nine different galaxies, he's already millions of times stronger than an average person. Take that, Aquaman. Greatest feat of strength? While Star Conqueror has only appeared in a handful of comics over the years, he has proven sufficiently strong enough to lop off the head of a major DC villain called Despero, who once held aloft a mountain-sized hunk of brick hurtling towards his own face called the Rock of Eternity, for no other reason than he wanted to show off how strong he was. That's from Rebels number 2. Number 7. Billy Batson, aka Shazam or Captain Marvel by day, Billy Batson is just an ordinary 10-year-old kid with a stupid alliterative name. However, when he speaks the word Shazam, he gets struck by lightning and transforms into a hero with access to the collective powers of six Greek gods. Because having the power of just one god wouldn't be fair, would it? All in all, Shazam has access to and can use the powers of Solomon, Hercules, Atlas, Zeus, Achilles, and Mercury in tandem and in any way he sees fit, allowing him to do things like fire lightning bolts from his eyes, control the weather to such an extent that he can write messages in the sky that can be seen from space, or stalemate Superman in an arm wrestling contest. That's from The Power of Shazam, number 46. Because Shazam is essentially a small child attempting to steer a seven-foot-tall lightning-powered and thoroughly knife-proof hunk of beef, he is in some regards stronger than Superman because he doesn't know when to quit, because kids, even when blessed with divine knowledge from the gods, are still stupid in the DC Universe. Wondrous feat of strength? Probably the time he effortlessly pushed a moon back into orbit when he noticed that it was out of place, then went and punched the guy who'd moved it in the face without killing him. We wonder which Greek hero he learned that level of restraint from. That's from Captain Marvel Adventures, number 106. Number 6. Teth Adam, Black Adam by day, Teth Adam is just an ordinary 3,000-year-old Egyptian pharaoh. However, when he speaks the word Shazam, or better yet, yells it from the top of a mountain while playing a guitar, he, like Captain Marvel, gains the respective power of several gods. The main difference between the two is whereas Captain Marvel derives his powers from the wussy Greek gods, Black Adam gets his powers from the objectively cooler, animal-headed gods of ancient Egypt. While powered up, Black Adam is virtually invulnerable, can fly and heal wounds by striking them with bolts of lightning, because comics don't have to make sense if there's an excuse to draw something cool. Strength-wise, Black Adam is capable of pretty much all of the feats you'd expect from a guy they had to hire Dwayne The Rock Johnson to play in a movie. Black Adam once threw an entire aircraft carrier at New York because he was angry. That's from JLA numbers 36 to 41, and he can supposedly fly at speeds in excess of Mach 500 within the Earth's own atmosphere, which means he could punch someone in the face and then watch an episode of Adventure Time before it made any noise. Most bizarre feat of strength? We could mention their time in the World War III arc, where he tears through half of the DC Universe, including Captain Marvel, but we'd much rather draw attention to the time he gets into a fistfight with a yeti and disembowels it with his bare hands when he doesn't have any powers, and then uses its guts as a makeshift repel. Because why would we not want to tell you about an ancient Egyptian pharaoh fighting a yeti? That's from Black Adam the Dark Age. Number 5. Diana Prince, aka Wonder Woman Fun fact, despite literally being one of the most well-known and recognized comic characters in all of history, Wonder Woman's only appearance in a feature film as of 2015 was a fleeting cameo in the Lego movie. Packing a pair of nigh-on indestructible bracelets, an unbreakable lasso that forces whomever is captured by it to tell you their pin number, and arguably the most powerful right hook of any female in fiction, Wonder Woman is, in terms of raw physical power and combat prowess, unequivocally badass. 
Through her illustrious seven-decade-long fighting career, Wonder Woman has hurled a rock several million miles directly into the center of the sun. That's from The Brave and the Bold, number seven. Deflected dark side supposedly unstoppable Omega beams by slapping them with her wrists. Supergirl from Krypton, number six. And once even walked off being clocked in the jaw by Professor Zoom when his fist was traveling at almost the speed of light, allowing him to hit with the apparent force of an entire star. And her greatest feat of strength? Rather handily, Wonder Woman is partially responsible for one of the most unbelievable and somewhat controversial feats of lifting in DC Comics when she, with the aid of Superman, lifted a cosmic being known as the Spectre. That's from JLA Spectre Soul War. Being a cosmic being second only in power to that of God himself, the Spectre is a pretty hefty dude who supposedly weighs as much as eternity, whatever that means. Some fans have taken this to mean that Wonder Woman lifted half of all the weight in the known universe, whereas others have instead argued that this is stupid. Mostly because, if it's true, it would mean that all of their arguments about Superman not being able to beat up their favorite anime character would be moot. Number 4. Yusas, aka Darkseid Darkseid is the DC equivalent of a Japanese mob boss in that he spends most of his time standing around looking cool with his arms crossed while very occasionally firing disintegrating death beams from his eyeballs. Though the overall power of Darkseid's almighty backhand varies considerably depending on which comic he decides to grace with his presence, he is generally considered one of the DC Universe's most powerful entities. However, Darkseid rarely ever needs to display his vast, untapped resources of raw power because he can also fire something called Omega Beams from his eyes. According to Darkseid, there is no being in the universe who can survive being hit with one of those beams, and he has total and utter control over the direction in which they move, meaning he could theoretically make the beams travel exclusively in the shape of a crudely drawn penis and still manage to kill almost any being in the known universe. We're guessing the only reason he doesn't do this is because, as an immortal god, he doesn't find this idea as funny as we do. Greatest Feat of Strength? Darkseid once crushed a Lantern Core power ring, which, remember, is described as one of the most powerful weapons in the universe, with his bare hands while someone was still wearing it. Number 3. Doomsday, the Ultimate Destroyer According to the guy who came up with the idea for Doomsday, he was literally created just so that DC Comics had a character strong enough to punch Superman in the face hard enough to break his smug Kryptonian jaw. According to the comics, Doomsday is the result of decades of cruel experimentation to create the ultimate life form. In short, Doomsday was repeatedly sent to prehistoric Krypton as an infant to die, whereupon he'd be cloned and sent back again, now immune to whatever had killed him previously. As a result of his countless deaths and decades of forced evolution, Doomsday is virtually immune to all conventional forms of injury, including those caused by knives, spiders, and building-sized robotic fists, and is sufficiently strong enough to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with almost anyone in the DC Universe who would fit inside a boxing ring. Along with physically besting the likes of Wonder Woman, Power Girl, and over 100 Green Lanterns while surfing around on a giant meteor, that's from Superman Doomsday Hunter Prey Number 2, Doomsday also once, somehow, punched his way out of the supposedly inescapable Phantom Zone, that's from Doomsday Number 1. On top of this, Doomsday has slaughtered entire planets filled with superpowered beings, leveled cities, slapped mountains into dust, and even once nearly succeeded in killing every wildebeest on Earth most obviously great feat of strength? Well, we're kind of obligated to talk about him killing Superman in the aptly titled Death of Superman arc with nothing more than 700 well-placed city-destroying punches to the face. Because this was a comic book, instead of dying, Superman actually entered a form of hibernation and he came back more powerful than ever a few months later. Number 2. John Johns, aka Martian Manhunter Martian Manhunter is essentially Superman if the writers in charge of his characters never bothered to get rid of all the stupid powers they came up with in the 80s. As if being super strong with the ability to turn himself into a giant snake wasn't overpowered enough, the man from Mars can turn invisible, walk through walls, and stretch his extremities to such an extent he could slap you in the face from a passing biplane. By using both his superior Martian physiology in combination with his immense telekinetic powers, the Jade Warrior is capable of some truly outlandish feats of upper body strength, like knocking someone out by letting them punch him in the face. That's from Stormwatch Volume 3, Number 1 and lifting a spaceship bigger than the Earth itself by focusing all of his biomass into his own arms. That's from Action Comics number 34. And who could forget the time he helped pull the entire Earth out of orbit using Wonder Woman's lasso? Coolest feat of strength? 
Well, I'd personally have to go with sucker punching a version of Superman from an alternate reality while simultaneously delivering a Schwarzenegger style one liner about there being a damn good reason he's the last surviving member of his race. It's from Infinite Crisis number six. Because apparently no hero in the DC universe can say they're strong until they've knocked at least one version of Superman through a wall. Number one, Clark Kent, aka Superman. I genuinely thought long and hard about giving the Man of Steel the number one spot on this list because we know that doing so would annoy the one group nobody on the internet really ever has the patience to deal with, people who don't like Superman. However, something occurred to me while researching the other entries. While the last son of Krypton is by no means the most powerful character in the DC universe, with that honor obviously belonging to the omnipotent celestial entity The Presence, Superman is the yardstick against which all other supposedly robust characters are measured. In all of the research conducted, heavy hitters like Orion, Despero, Atlas, Gog, Metallo, Solomon Grundy, and Mongol aren't considered strong because they can lift an oil tanker or flatten a forest by closing a book too quickly. They're considered strong because they can hurt Superman. Hell, Superman was considered so ridiculously overpowered by his own writers that the character of Doomsday was created purely so the Man of Tomorrow would have an opponent who could challenge him in a fair fight that didn't involve Kryptonite or Muhammad Ali. Superman is so overtly powerful that his feats of strength now include bench-pressing the entire Earth for five days straight. We're not making that up, and it's not hyperbole. According to the new 52 DC comic Superman No. 13, the Man of Steel is strapped to a machine that forces him to lift 5.972 sextillion tons. And all Superman says in response is, That's all you've got. Remember, this is the same hero who was introduced to the world as being just strong enough to lift a crappy VW Beetle over his head greatest feat of strength? When it comes to Superman, his greatest feats seem to revolve around his titanium jaw and the fact that nobody ever seems to be able to put him down for good. Superman has variously been hit by and survived nuclear warheads, planet evaporating explosions, dark sides omega beams, being punched through the center of the earth, flying through the center of a red sun, the light of which is something that is explicitly said to weaken him, and an explosion caused by a bomb big enough to kill a nebulous ball of evil the size of a sun. That's from Action Comics number 847. But perhaps Superman's greatest feat of strength, or at least the one that highlights the absurd levels of power he's demonstrated over the years, is the time the Justice League encounter a miniature black hole, and Superman's first reaction is to clamp his giant hands around it to stop it from escaping. And it works. That's from JLA number 77. Thanks for watching that video about the top 10 strongest DC characters. If you like this video, please click like. If you've got something to say about it, if you think someone else should be on the list, then let us know. If you think someone should be taken away, go for it. Leave us a comment below and we'll take a look into it. Also, please do subscribe to our channel. There is a link on the screen now. Also a link below if anyone's on a mobile device and can't click on those on-screen annotations, then go for it. Also, a couple of other videos that you might want to check out being linked to on the screen now. Because you finished this comics-based one all the way through, those are comic-related. So again, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.